Hello viewers, welcome to the last section of this course using specific platform features. In the previous section, we've learned about mobile revolution with FireMonkey. In this section, we'll see some classes import examples. Keep in mind that the code using imported classes is not cross-platform. That is, if you import an Android SDK class and your code uses it, you lost the possibility to compile that specific code for iOS. However, you can, as usual, use some IFDEFs to statically select the Android-specific code from the iOS-specific code. Moreover, in the last video, we'll see how to use one of the most powerful Android features, the services. Now, we will move on to the first video of this section, using Android SDK Java classes. In this video, we'll talk about the mechanisms that the compiler offers to import classes from the Android SDK and NDK. This is not a standard project, but is more of a showcase showing the possibilities offered by the Delphi compiler and the process needed to fully use them when dealing with OS built-in libraries. What we will do is import a well-known Android class used everywhere in the Android ecosystem, which is the Toast. The Android document says which will be available in this link. Toasts are used to inform users about something in an unobtrusive way. They do not have an OK or Close button because they automatically disappear after a Defy timeout. Well, how to use a Toast in a Delphi app? The first thing to do is to have a clear vision of the class methods and all the other types involved in their definition. Going to the official documentation on this website, you can get this information. Here are the most relevant as the Android Java SDK documentation explains them. This is the typical usage of the Toast class inside an Android activity. Now, with this information, we can start to define our import Delphi class. The Android Delphi compiler allows you to declare a specific class as a generic Java import of an SDK Java class. The class that does this magic is declared within the Android API. JNI bridge.pas unit and is declared here. The T Java generic import is a generic class which we can use to make the declaration of imported Java object factories easier. Using this class, we split the class methods and instance methods into two interfaces. This class blends the two interfaces into one factory that can produce instances of Java objects or provide a reference to an instance representing the Java class. Moreover, Android Java SDK uses Java strings objects while Delphi uses strings. If you need to pass a string to a method imported from the SDK that expects a J string, the type used by the Delphi compiler to match the Java string object, you have to use the string to J string function defined in Android API.helpers.pas to convert it. So, the next step to use the Toast class is to define two interfaces. The first one declares all the class methods static in Java with the same signature as the Java ones. The second one declares all the instance methods with the same Java signature as well. How to map Java types to the Delphi types? In the Delphi RTL, there are a lot of samples of imported Java classes, and this is a small summary of what you can understand from the already imported classes and from the API version.xml file present in the Android SDK, which contains the declaration of all the SDK classes using RAD Studio 10.1. The path is highlighted here. So here is the Java and Delphi types. If used as a return type, use procedure instead of function. All methods must be declared with the CDECL calling convention to be compatible with the Java calling convention. Moreover, the interface declaring the interface methods must be decorated with the Java signature RTTI attribute, which defines the full Java package where the mapped class is declared in the SDK. It may seem complex, but the resultant code is not. Now, open the project. And here you can find our sample project, which will look similar to this is the final import declaration for the Toast class. Now, with these two interfaces, we can declare our TJ Toast class inheriting from the TJava generic import using this selected code. 
As you can see, the body of the class is almost empty because all the methods will be used by an internal created object returning an interface reference. Length underscore long and length underscore short are simple constants in Java, so I added them as CONST in the TJ Toast declaration. TJ Toast can be used like this in the main form using the same methods documented for the Android Java SDK. However, if you run this code, you will get this highlighted exception. This is because the toast must be synchronized with the UI thread, so using the callIn UI thread function declared in fmx.helpers.android.pas, we can synchronize the call with the main thread. Here is the complete code. Now, the code works, but the utilization pattern is not very Delphi-like. Indeed, we're using Java classes and methods, but using the Delphi syntax. However, we can write some helper code to make the Toast utilization more similar to the Delphi RTL, and the Delphi programmer mindset is highlighted here. In this version, we've also used the setGravity method to define the Toast position on the screen. To do this, we've used an enumerated type mapped to the same integer values defined in the android.view.gravity class. Also, check the call to the tandroidhelper.context to get the activity context needed by the method. Now, we can use the toast class using a very Delphi-styled function. Here are some sample calls. As a suggestion, try to make your imports as intuitive as possible for your Delphi users, even if you're the only user because all the rest of your code is written using the Delphi libraries. Stay as homogeneous as possible. It is a good principle, whatever language you use. Encapsulate the imported classes in proper Delphi code structures, including classes, records, functions, and whatever is appropriate, and the style of your code will benefit from it, being much more coherent with itself. In the project code, there is the full app showing the different kinds of Toast utilization, so let's run the app on Android Target Platform. Complex classes require more work to be imported, but there are tools that can help in this hard work. Some tools available for the Delphi versions before XE8 are can and be found at this link, Java 2 PAS. For users of newer version, Embarcadero released Java 2 OP that does a very good job. One of the next videos will talk about it. These tools do a good job and help in the boring methods declaration phase. However, you cannot simply import a class and use it in your Delphi code. In many cases, you have to do additional work to arrange a good class structure in your units to get around units' circular references. However, if you're interested and want to know more, I suggest checking the good presentation held by Brian Long at the Code Rage 8 conference where he talks about accessing Android and iOS API on this link. Since Delphi XE7, is it possible to use your own or third-party Java libraries and Rad Studio applications in a simpler way? Check out this link for more information. As FireMonkey and the mobile soul of Delphi matures, third-party mobile components start to be available on the market. Even if you're not interested in native widgets, you can study the code from the project DPF Delphi Android Native Components, which can help you understand how this kind of interfacing job works on this link. Moreover, you can also use native ndk.sofis. To get an idea on how to do it, check the androidapi.log.pas unit where the function used by the IFMX logging service service on Android is declared. As you will see, there is a declaration very similar to the declaration usually used for the Windows DLL. As time goes by, Embarcadero will add more and more wrappers for the Android SDK classes and functionalities, but until then, if you need to use specific SDK classes or third-party Java classes that will require a bit of work to be packaged in the generated APK, you can rely on the compiler support and the RTL class T Java generic import to declare and use it. In this video, we have learned how to use Android SDK Java classes.